Inksoft Online Designer. This is designed to increase sales. And so you're able to sell more by enabling your customers to self-service. So they choose a product from the Inksoft supplier database. They upload graphics or choose from thousands of design templates. They can create a mock-up, get a price. They can even check out. And when they check out, you get paid. What you see here is an Inksoft website. So Inksoft is a web development platform. You can build your entire website with Inksoft. But say, for instance, you've already created your website, you like your website, it's working really well for you, you can incorporate Inksoft into your existing website. So you can incorporate stores into your website. So if you want to add stores for your clients, you can incorporate the Inksoft designer into your website. But let's say you have a website and you're not crazy about your website, you can build out your entire website using Inksoft. So you can do a very attractive website, very customizable, and you can create a website that's exactly what you need in order to promote your business. So in this particular website, you notice there's a button that says start designing. This is where the customer would initiate the designing process. So when they click on start designing, they're going to be presented with a group of products. And these are products that you curate. So you're determining what products are available for them to decorate. You're determining who the manufacturers are, the color ranges, the size ranges. And in this particular designer, we're not including just wearables and promotional items. We're also including a gang sheet for direct to film transfers. Let's say you want to sell transfers and allow the customer to upload a graphic or multiple graphics and gang it onto a sheet so they can purchase a transfer. We've also added a vinyl banner um, set up here. So if they want to design banners or yard signs, and we've even added an area where they can customize stickers. So it's not limited just to apparel items. The products that we curated for this particular version of the designer are coming from the Inksoft supplier feed. So we're integrated with 29 industry suppliers, including big companies like SNS Activewear, Alpha Broder, Sanmar. We're getting a feed of product photography. We're getting their pricing. We're getting their inventory levels, their size ranges, their color ranges, product descriptions, even part numbers. So all of that information is being fed into Inksoft, so I don't have to go to the supplier's website to grab that information. So when the end user wants to initiate the design process, all they need to do is select a product. They're going to select their color from the color range. You'll notice that we have the size ranges displayed here as well and the product description. They can click on Design Now, and they're presented with three options when they begin the design process. The three options for designing are uploading their own artwork. They can also add text and create things from scratch. And they also have the ability to add artwork from design templates, clip art, or art they've previously edited on. In this case, I'm going to upload an image. So I'm going to click on Upload Image to initiate that part of the process. Customer can upload common graphics formats, for instance, SVG, PNG, JPEG files, TIFF files, even PDF and EPS files in vector format. And as I said before, Inksoft is a graphics-driven platform. So we're actually processing the files that they're uploading. So I'm going to click on Select File. In the case of a JPEG file, JPEG files are always going to have a white bounding box around the perimeter. And what I can do is I can remove that white bounding box. In this case, there's actual white in the graphic. So I'm going to choose to remove the white in the graphic as well because I want the substrate color to come through. So I'm going to click on continue and then I'm going to select a color profile. Now, if I select a color profile for full color, this is going to bring in the graphic as is. It's not going to limit any colors, but I can do color limits as well. So even though this is a bitmap file, I can go down here and see what it looks like in a one color or see what it looks like in a two color. And I get a visual preview of what it's going to look like. And this is also going to allow me to change the colors. So if I want to change this to blue, I can do that before I create the mock-up. So we're actually processing this JPEG file. I'm going to click on Finish. The customer can come in and reposition it, resize it. In this case, I'm enforcing boundaries, so we can't go outside that red box. And I still have the ability to go in here and change the color. So if I want to change this color out to more of a burgundy, I can do that. So we're giving the client quite a bit of latitude in terms of manipulating this artwork. And they can also drop another line of text into this if they choose. Now let's say they want to design from an existing design template. So we're going to go ahead and clear this design. And then I'm going to go over here to add art and I'm going to choose browse design ideas. The Inksoft designer is going to give your customers an online design experience. So you're going to be able to compete with the big companies like CustomAke. By offering that self-service solution, you're adapting to the buying preferences of your customers that don't want to talk to a salesperson. Inksoft has thousands of interactive design templates. You can add categories of your choosing, or you can add all of the categories. In this case, I have all the categories added. I'm just going to go down here to sports. I'm going to choose the soccer category, and I'm going to select a graphic. So we'll just select this graphic right here. This is a vector file, and I can edit this vector file interactively in Inksoft. So if I want to come over here and I want to type in Cougars, 
I can resize this. I can go in here and recolor this. Go back to that navy and red option. So I can name drop the entire design and have quite a bit of design flexibility within the designer. Now I can also incorporate clip art because there's a massive library of clip art that's also incorporated into Inksoft. So if I go over here to add art, maybe I want to add a cougar to this. I'm going to click on browse clip art. I can either go to the category for mascots or I can just type in cougar. And if I want to add this mascot, I can just click on it. This mascot is two color. So I can easily combine the colors in the graphics. So I'm going to kind of snug that in here. You'll notice there's black in the clip art. I'm going to take that black and I'm going to reassign that to blue. Click on done. Now we have a three color design. Once they get the design situated, they have the ability to get a quote. And so if they go over here to next step and they put in a quantity, they can instantly get a quote. And so I'm going to put in a quantity of one. In this particular store, what I've done is I've set up a pricing rule that anything below a dozen pieces is going to get priced out as a DTG print. And their customer is going to have to pay a premium for that. My thinking on that is that I probably have some art preparation costs and a little bit more handling. And so I'm going to charge a premium on the smaller order quantities. So if they click buy now, they're going to be purchasing for $24.82. What if they come in and they decide they're going to add 24, 48, 48, 24, bigger order, bigger quantities. When they click on get price, according to the pricing logic I've set up, this is now going to be priced out as a three color screen print because we're pulling the colors from the vector graphics. So we know there's three colors and we're going to our pricing grid that's saying everything from 48 to 144 is going to be this price with a three color imprint. So I can have different pricing grids for every single customer, but I have maximum flexibility for quoting the customer through the designer. Now, something that's really important with the designer, let's say they go in, they create a graphic, they upload a graphic, they save the graphic. They're prompted to enter their name and email and set up a password for an account. I've now captured all that information. I can go into my admin area and I can see all of the orders that have been saved. I can go in and create a quick little proposal, send that out to the customer, kind of more of a traditional order and say, hey, listen, I saw you guys had created this design and the designer, you didn't transact. We have a promotion on Fruit of the Loom t-shirts in your particular design. We can do these for 650. So you always have the latitude to follow up. Now let's say they go to the next step and they go to buy now and they create a cart. So you can see right now they're being prompted to save the design and then the next part is gonna be prompted to set up their account. What's gonna happen, I'm gonna capture all that information as well. And I'm gonna capture it in the form of an order if they pay and check out or an abandoned cart if they get to that point and decide not to transact. I can still go into my admin area. I can see that they've abandoned their cart. I can follow up with them. And in the case of abandoned carts, I can set up a follow-up message so that after a period of time, it will automatically message them saying, hey, I noticed you were on my website. You designed something and you didn't check out. And you could even offer them a discount at that point. So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of following up with anything that's created in the designer. There's three basic use cases for the designer. The customer uploads their own artwork, gets a quote, checks out. Customer selects a design template, modifies that template, gets a quote, checks out. But there's a third use case. And so one of the things I can do is I can add the designer into a specific store. I don't have to make this link public. I can hide it. The customer can go into their account. They can see all of their graphics. They can select my designs. And if they want to go in here and name drop that design for say another sport, they can do that. They can just say edit and designer design opens up, come in here, say central volleyball, and they can localize that design, check out, get a quote. Now they don't have to transact. They can also go in here and just save that design. And again, I always have the option of going back to them with a more traditional proposal. If you really want to step it up and make it convenient for your clients to purchase from you, you can go into the internal Inksoft design tool, create these customized templates for them and load them into their store. So when they go to select a template, we might limit them just to the 10 customized templates that I created for them. They can go in the store, customize them, change seniors into sophomores, change soccer into volleyball, and they have a more personalized design experience. The key to success with Inksoft is making it easy for your customers to purchase from you. Whether it's with online stores, a self-service experience with the Inksoft designer, or proposals, you're able to acquire new customers and retain the customers you're already working with. If you'd like to drill down on the details and find out how Inksoft can help you to grow your business, I'd suggest booking a personalized demo at Inksoft.com.